Okay, have I wrecked this cylinder or not? Well, it was probably already wrecked anyway, so don't know. But I've seen lots of other things, lots of other people trying finger ports, boost ports, whatever they're called. I can't find a lot of information out there on this stuff, actually. Dino Joe did it on that 272 cylinder that he put in the 359 and it gave it a big like horsepower boost. Uh, I've seen a few other people do it and I've seen some anecdotal views on people saying, well, yeah, it, uh, it, it was the best saw they ever ran. So my, my sort of understanding is that, let me just get a pointer. So yeah, my understanding is you're just basically providing an extra path for the transfers, for the mixture to come as the piston comes down, you because basically as the piston comes down, the intake charge has got to go around the piston. So you're just providing an extra path for that to happen. So I think, yeah, and, and everyone says do it on the intake side because then you're clearing the intake side first or putting pressure, more pressure into the intake side, which sweeps the charge out of the exhaust, the spent charge out of the exhaust earlier, which makes total sense to me. So I think as long as you stay inside those lines, you're basically just creating more transfer volume. So yeah, seems um, I don't know, seems logical to me. Let's see if it runs or not. Um, yeah, all I'm going to do now, I think that's as much as I'm going to do on this. I've done these and then I've run some sandpaper down to make sure there's no sharp edges. I'm just going to run the hone on this cylinder one last time and uh, see how we go. So let's dig this. Let's dig the hone out and do some honing. Here we go, ball hone set up. I'm just gonna put a bit of lubricating oil on there. I've got some cutting oil actually. Maybe that's a better oil than thick. I just tend to use whatever's around, but I've also got some cutting and drilling oil, which is probably a better idea, isn't it? Although they're, prob they're all a bit light, but it's what I've always used. Always seems to be okay, low speed on the drill. Let's do a hone. And you've got to think, haven't you? This is just rounding off any sharp edges it sees or anything else in there. Lovely. A bit more of that. We'll clean her up. How does that look? Let me grab a torch. There you are. Interested to see how this runs, actually. Get it through the ultrasonic. There you go. That gives you a bit of a... Better idea. They're not quite symmetrical. I tried to get them as symmetrical as possible. But the intake isn't symmetrical on this saw either, which is weird. But there we go. This is going to go in the ultrasonic cleaner now. And then we'll um, glue it all back down. See if we can get this 268 to run. So another thing I do, just rather than changing the intake on the, the intake timing on the cylinder too much... Uh, another trick you can do is just to take a little bit off the skirt of the piston. So I've just measured the line. You can't see it. The marker pen is there just to show a mark. But just where my nail is, actually, there's a very thin line there, which I've scribed with my verniers. Um, and I've just scribed sort of just by dragging them across like that. Um, and that line is at sort of 25 thou. So the gasket, the base gasket, which is being deleted, is 20 thou. I'm going to take another 25 thou off there, so that'll make basically this 45 thousandths more intake timing than before. And I think I, I need a timing wheel, obviously, to check this stuff, but this is something you can do at home just with a file um, if you haven't got any of the tools just um, for, for a quick performance improvement. Um, can't go too far with it. Uh, but yeah, this will give you a few degrees more timing duration. So yeah, I think 
45 thou will probably end up being about three degrees but obviously it doubles because it's a duration so you end up with about six degrees more intake timing so i'm just going to do that just while the cylinder is in the ultrasonic pretty hard to check this so what you can do obviously this is a pop-up so you've got to be careful where you put your veneers but yeah if you just measure that there that's the side I'm filing so what have we got there 1.567 and on the other side where I'm not filing we've got 1.596 so it's about 30 there, there isn't it 1.594 and then there we've got 1.566 so but 28 thou or something sorry you haven't been able to see that have you so there you go 1. 1. 1.1.57 1. 1.567 and then if I flip it to the other side 1.595 so just under 30 thou there we go very simple little mod anyone can do another quick thing I'm gonna do on this or I'm in the middle of doing on this just while I've got the piston out is there's a little flash line down in here don't know if you can see a little ridge now obviously the air as this piston comes down into the crank down like that air is coming up here so the charge the inlet charge comes in through the inlet or sorry at the back of the piston where's the back of the piston here so the inlet charge comes as the piston goes up on a two stroke as the piston goes away from us it sucks the inlet charge into the crank and then as it comes down again the inlet charge has got to come up through the middle of the piston through these windows through the transfers around the piston crown so it comes out, out of here, around the piston crown, through the transfers in the cylinder, then up onto the piston crown, and then as the piston goes back up, it squashes it ready for the compression cycle. So anything we can do in here to get better flow, not interrupt the flow, get less turbulent flow of that gas is a good thing. So there's a little flash line, I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can there. It's a little flash line just in here just going to use my thing so just I'm just just give this just literally run this around here just to get rid of that flash line get it flowing any nicely any bigger we can make these windows is better because that gives us more flow so just doing that while I've got the piston in my hand So there you go, just a little bit of an adventure, um, just part of my chainsaw adventure guys that I'm sharing with you on this channel. Um, let's see how they run. I've seen a few people that say they run really well, so who knows? Not the biggest finger ports I've seen. Some of them look crazy. Some of them I can't, they go right over the top of the intake. I can't even work out how they work, but you know, got to try these things. If you don't try it, you'll never know what happens, will you? And, and a good cylinder to try it on, because there's always going to be a slightly damaged cylinder, that 268. So we'll see. And if it doesn't run on that, so I've got a 266 or a 61 we can put it on. So it will run. 
uh yeah so thanks for watching um it's all in the ultrasonic cleaner now so the next thing we'll do is assemble it um i've decided that i'm not going to split the bottom end on that 268 at the moment the bearings might last five minutes but who knows um i'm trying to keep this channel sort of of use to you guys so you know and that's not you know there are a lot of you guys in the comments who i love very much who know way more i don't know much about much really i'm just sort of sharing my adventure but you guys know a lot um really it's not for you guys it's for the random guys that will come across this and sort of think can you clean things up or, or what is doable on a budget you know maybe you haven't got the money or the skills to break down a whole bottom end and rebuild it um, and you just want to see what you might be able to get away with so come and join me on the adventure come and watch the next few videos on this 268 maybe it'll blow up in my face and then you will know that you definitely should rebuild yours um, yeah and obviously I haven't got the bits uh, together to, to really do that bottom end but yeah let's let's see how it goes a little bit of porting uh, so with lots more stress on the bearings hopefully the porting works we'll see how it goes Thanks very much as always guys, uh, loving your comments and all the rest of it. Uh, it's Sunday evening here uh, in the UK. Um, yeah, take it steady and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.